Come on, Piper. Come here. Oh, good doggy. Oh, look at that dog. Yeah. Whose puppy are you? Huh? Yeah, yeah good dog. It's a good puppy. Hey guys, Ron Anik here at the Black Axe Ranch in Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. Welcome back. Just out here uh, hanging out with the bison a little bit. As you can see in the background there. Not exactly the nicest of weather today. We had, uh, well, Mother Nature has been kind of teasing us a little bit. We had some really nice weather. We had like 60, 65 degrees. Then uh, we got 35, 38 degrees. And uh, according to the Weather Channel, we're going to be uh, hitting below freezing uh, a couple of nights here. So anyway. Hey, Sapphire. How are you, huh? There we got Sapphire and Tootsie Roll, and there's the Empress, Ruby, and of course Thor. And the chicken in the background. These guys are soaking wet right now, but uh, honestly they needed it. They were looking a little grubby there, so kind of glad we got the rain. We got, uh, well it's been raining the last two days. Uh, today is the first time it's actually let up here long enough for me to be able to get outside here. Eh, one's peeing. Well, when nature calls. Hey Thor. Man, he's a good looking animal, isn't he? He's just he's bigger and bigger every time I see him, I swear. Of course he eats like a pig. He pushes all the other guys out until he gets his fill. What are you doing, buddy, huh? What you doing? Hey, you look a little waterlogged there, too. So, uh, one thing people have commented on a couple of times is Ruby. And, uh... Yeah, she's getting after the young ones there. But, uh... You know, it's no secret that Ruby's a little bit on the small side. We had uh, a couple of comments from people saying that, uh... You know, she looked a little scrawny. Well, she does. Um... Honestly, it's not It's not that she isn't eating. She eats uh, just like everybody else, although if uh, Thor is going to push anybody off the food, it's, uh, it's going to be her. But uh, we make sure she definitely eats. So she's eating, and uh, we gave all these guys uh, some dewormer um, two different times, actually, uh, over the winter here. And, uh, you know, her stools are fine, urine's fine, no outward signs of uh, any problem, but... Uh, Truth be told, I think Ruby's a little bit of a runt. I mean, when you see her standing next to some of these, uh, you know, these two calves, quote unquote calves, that uh, that we got here, you know, she isn't much bigger than them. And when she stands next to Sapphire, you can notice the difference, so. But we love her anyway, so it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm talking about you, yeah. Wind is starting to pick up a little bit, so I'm going to try to get these guys something to eat here. Which uh, brings me to another thing. Uh, so a couple of people have asked, you know, over the last couple of months, hey, what do you guys feed these feed these animals here? So I'm going to give you an idea of that right now. Sorry if this is going to be a little bit crude, but I'm just going to use pretty much my garage floor here to sort of show you guys exactly what we feed these animals here during the winter. So one thing we feed these guys are these cattle cubes, and uh, uh, I know they don't look like cubes. To me, it's just odd that uh, it looks like a big piece of rabbit food, but they're cattle cubes, so it is what it is again. Uh, anyway, uh, I mean, Thor loves these. Ruby, this is like her favorite treat of all time. She will just gobble these down like they're candy. Now, Sapphire, on the other hand, she hardly will touch these. And the new babies, you know, Empress and uh, uh, Tootsie Roll there, they'll, you know, they'll eat them. They'll eat them, but uh, this is pretty much almost exclusively Ruby Street right here. Now, these are actual cubes, alfalfa cubes. I hope you can see it there in the reflection, but uh, 
This is another, not a main staple, but just a treat that we give these guys. And uh, now this is Sapphire's uh, treat of choice. She loves these. She'll come running if she sees that you got these. Again, Thor, he's a pig. He'll eat anything. Now, Ruby, exact opposite. She really does not like the alfalfa cubes. Don't know why. And again, the two babies, they'll, uh, yeah, they eat them. They'll, they're, they're growing. They'll eat pretty much anything, too. And this is a, another real common uh, feed that we give them, uh, the Sweet 16, which is, it's basically 16% protein and 3% uh, fat and 7.5% fiber. So they love this. It's, it's a little bit more, I don't know, I guess I call it a candy, but uh, uh, they love it. They'll gobble it down, all of them, and uh, no questions asked. So this is a real common one that we give them. Now we've slowly been switching from the Sweet 16 to this 12% performance horse. I know, horse, horse, but uh, you know, it's not exactly like these places have bison chow you know, available, so we work with what we can get. But uh, compared to the Sweet 16, so this is 12% protein, so a little bit less, but it's got twice the fat at 6% and uh, almost twice the fiber at 13%. So we've been Slowly kind of phasing the Sweet 16 out in, uh, in preference for this here. Give them a little bit higher fat and uh, fiber content. And sometimes we got to get creative and just pretty much go with what we can find. This one was at our local feed store because we were out and uh, just didn't have a chance to go where we normally go. So this worked. It worked in a pinch. They didn't really gobble this down like they do the other ones, but uh, it worked. So now today I just went out and bought a bag of whole oats. We actually haven't given them the whole oats or mixed it in with the other grain and uh, probably since uh, early winter, late fall. So we're going to start putting this in again a little bit. Gives them a little bit more fiber. Yeah, it helps to, helps to keep them cleaned out. Now every once in a while I'll throw a handful of this stuff in here. It's basically just a, you know, just basically salt, mineral salt. So we, uh, we throw a handful of that in from time to time, particularly over the winter here where... Uh, you know, they may not be getting the mineral content that, uh, you know, that they normally would during the summer months. So that's, again, another supplement that we give them. And that there is, well, <laughs> the remains of a selenium salt lick block that, uh, that I picked up a while ago. Now, so the reason why I uh, have it like this and just don't have it out there for them to lick on is, uh, especially in the wintertime when you throw salt licks and salt blocks and stuff like that out there, uh, they pretty much just melt, you know, in the snow, snow, rain, whatever. And uh, honestly, more of it just kind of goes into the ground now. I know they like to lick the ground, you know, where the salt licks are, but uh, I find it's just a little bit better to take a knife. If that's why it's all carved up like this. Basically just dust the grain a little bit. So they're getting their mineral with their grain. You go with what works. And here's what happens when you walk away from the bag. Of course, 100% guaranteed it's going to tip over on you. So anyway, well, luckily I keep a clean uh, garage floor. So anyway, we'll scoop that out. At least most of it stayed in the bag. So <laughs> I'll just uh, I'll just kind of sweep the rest of it under the car there. Kim will, Kim will find it tomorrow morning when she goes to work. I just sweep it under the car. What's the matter with you, Neanderthal? Honestly, Kim is about the sweetest person in the world, and for those of you that have seen her in the videos, uh, they, they can attest to that, but she's not here right now, so I can pretty much say whatever I want. I'll pay for it later, but right now it's game on. This is the oats there, and then a little bit of the 12%. You know, we don't have a fancy grain mixer or anything like that, so for the time being, I'm the grain mixer. Now I'm going to attempt to show you guys here that I got this balanced on the uh, table, so we'll see how well this works, but this is basically what I meant by I just give it a little dusting with this selenium mineral block here, and you can see it just kind of creates a nice little coat there. I mean this has, you know, a couple other trace minerals and salt, just like the handful of salt I showed you earlier, so I'll just give that a little bit there. And That'll mix in and bleh. and uh, yeah, it also goes into the air too. So by the time I walk out of here, my lips are going to be puckered up tighter than a snare drum. So we'll just bring this out to these guys here, and uh, you know, we feed them twice a day for the most part, uh, morning and then uh, at night. And uh, you know, 
sometimes grain, sometimes hay. You know, it just depends on what we feel like they want. Now, uh, of course, the grass is starting to come out a little bit there. We hear you. So, I mean, you can see the grass is really starting to poke through here. And there's a couple of chickens poking around. But it's not going to be too long and we can switch gears and pretty much just let them live off the... Oh, I see the ducks out there. Look at that. I was wondering where they were. How did they find that out there? Hope those are my ducks. Can't imagine that they're not. Well, they get around. Anyway, uh, yeah, you can see the green coming up here, so we'll be able to switch gears uh, pretty soon. Won't have to... What I mean by that is we won't have to supplement them as much uh, with the grain or the hay. And uh, like last year, man, we didn't have to feed them for uh, all summer and well into fall because they were just chowing down on that grass. And of course, they got a whole lot more, you know, out in that area out there, out in the pasture. Now, Tootsie Roll there and the Empress, they're getting better at uh, coming up to us. I'm not even zooming in here. They're right up here. So it's going to be a matter of time, and we'll uh, hopefully be feeding them uh, cubes by hand, too. Kind of like these guys. Of course, Thor's in there right away. Buddy, you're a pig. Love you, but you're a pig. Anyway, it uh, wasn't that long ago earlier today I gave him a bale of hay and uh, a little bit of a little bit more grain, or uh, the last of the grain that we had before I got this. So they probably aren't quite as hungry. And I'm guessing they're also uh, nibbling on the fresh grass coming up. I don't know if you can hear him chewing, but man, he's worse than my kid. Oh, there's one of the young ones in there. Comes the Empress. Oh, denied. Yeah, you gotta get aggressive there, little girl. Sapphire, I'm surprised you're not in there. You got hair stuck to your horns. You've been beating up on the kids too, I think. How are you? How are you, huh? Anyway, that's about it for today. Trying something a little bit new. We're gonna try to post a, for about a week here, we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna post some shorter videos, but every other day, maybe every day, you know, we're always trying new things and seeing uh, what works, what doesn't, and what people like and what they don't. So we might just try that for a little while. Shorter videos, but more frequent videos. So we'll give it a try. If you guys uh, don't mind, let us know uh, down in the comments what you think of that. And if you haven't done so already, Hit that little subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. What do you think, Piper? You ready to go in? You want to go in the house? Huh? Yeah? Oh, there you go. Piper says goodbye, too. You want to go in? Oh, you got bad breath. Yeah? Are you going to be camera shy? Oh, look at that. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. <laughs>